Let's go. Come on. Good morning. Beating that sun. Trust me, there's some big mountains right behind me. I wish I was working to get to the top of them right now, but I'm not. Instead, taking a little bit of a different approach, coming back. Did you see yesterday? We got a run in. Yes, we did. Now I guess we better try and define something here. What is work? What is working hard? That's the question of the day. What is work for you? And what is working hard for you? What does that look like? Can you put it into words? Not easy. I, I will say it's not easy to put into words, but that's the gift of running. It goes well beyond putting one foot in front of the other for the morning doorknob. The sacrifice and the grit that you have to develop as a runner to be successful, it, it sets you up for the rest of life. Success in the rest of life. And success is a good thing. Don't run away from success. I truly do believe that cross country is the best team sport on earth. I, I said it, there you go. And you know how much I love hockey. Actually, I got my avalanche hat on right now. You know how much I love even baseball, uh, football, all these sport, these team sports. But I love me some cross country. However, and actually did you run cross country in middle school and high school when you were younger? But it's a team sport. And life happens, meaning life moves on. And eventually, you're not on a team. And that's actually a beautiful, there's freedom there as an adult to be able to pursue your own interests. Remember we talked about a couple days ago, your own running niche, finding your niche within the running world, pursue your passions. Let's go, bro, right what's here, up? buddy. Oh, no. So say what's up, where are you what's from? Up, man? From Delaware, man. Delaware. Set your goals, set your challenges that you want to chase down. And it's frankly, I'll just say it, it's, is the opposite of a uh, running, I think, and the, the pursuit of working hard, it's the opposite of an egalitarian mindset. All right, you are in charge, you're in control. You pick yourself up by your own bootstraps and you go make it happen, whatever goal you are chasing down. And listen, I love team sports, I love cross country, but that freedom to pursue uh, your challenges and <laughs> wake up when you wanna wake up. You know, set your alarms. And I think, did I make a new verb the other day? Go, let's go door knobbing everybody. So that's what we're doing, all right, on this channel. Just awaiting that sunshine on a crisp morning. I think it was about 25 degrees when we left the car. All right, let's be very clear here. Clarify working hard. Utilitarianism, uh-uh. We are not the sum of our work, all right? Our dignity as runners, our, our worth as runners, our results do not define us, all right? It's part of our journey, no doubt, but that's not, that's not what defines us, okay? Our PRs, it's fun, trust me, it's fun to chase them, but that's not the end result, that's not the end goal as runners. A uti this utilitarian mindset can creep in, and I wanna just be very cautious as I share with all of you, work hard, you know, turn the doorknob, it's good, trust me, it's very good for us, but that's not where we get our worth, our dignity as runners, all right? Woo, just gotta be clear there, all right. Almost, almost to the sun. The freedom to seek the sun. There it is. All right, I don't know how else to say it, but to say this, running is hard. Don't forget it. There you go. There you go. There you go. 
running is hard. How do you make it easier? You work hard, all right? That's what, it all, that's what it's all about. And if I had to quantify working hard and to get to the question about how hard should you be working, I quantify working hard with consistency. I'm always talking about it. The aerobic engine, the two hour runs, the building up of your aerobic, like consistency is the key in long distance running. Whatever, whatever distance you're really training for, you gotta be consistent in your training. Now, uh, working hard, um, run, what is running, okay? Running is not running. Yay! Running is running and eating and sleeping and strength and conditioning and prehab and all these little things. And frankly, I'll just say, the mental side, which we've been talking about a lot here on the channel lately, but the recon and getting to know thyself better to figure out what is your niche within the running world. The, the running world is vast, it's big, it's exciting. You get to go figure out, am I a one mile runner on the track where I can just hammer out, you know, 430 miles, whenever I want, even at the age of, I don't know, 35, 40, 45, or am I a, a, a 200 mile runner, all right? The, the long, long ultra races that are happening. And so you're gonna have to discover for yourself what it means to overcome the pain cave. Maybe it doesn't mean working hard. I bet it might, but it might not. And how do you quantify your working hard? For me, it's the, <laughs> boom, look at me on you, YouTube. Consistency, consistency, consistency. That's what it's all, that's, I mean, the fact that how, how this channel has grown over the past two to three, it's just unbelievable, it blows my mind every day. And why does it, why is it happening? Consistency, all right? Same with your running out there. So be consistent, keep turning the doorknob, and uh, we're all gonna be better for it if we hold each other accountable to those goals, to that, you know, to that consistency, whether it's on Instagram, whether it's down in the comments, whether it's on Discord, whether it's on Strava. Been loving our work on Strava lately, everybody. So, oh man, work hard. That's how I define it. And we will toss it to a working hard vlog, of course. I don't know which one. Something from yesteryear right there, right there, right there. Onward, onward. Don't give up. Seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.